at, at some point around that time, she wanted me to arrange for them to get together in person. And what did you do after that was requested of you by Ms. Hurt? I talked to Johnny about it. What happened after that? Uh, he was reluctant at first and then agreed. And then what happened after that? I mean, this is a long time ago, but I remember there was a fair amount of discussion about the TRO and how we would deal with that because nobody wanted Johnny accused of violating the TRO as an outcome of that meeting. And I don't remember exactly what we did, but Amber at some point warranted that she would never accuse him of violating the TRO to do the meeting. And I set the meeting up. She promised me and told me to relay to him that she would never accuse him of violating the restraining order as a result of agreeing to meet her. And I believe, but I don't recall exactly, there were conversations with both sides legally, I believe at the time, um, to make it transparent to everybody that this was happening. Um, I arranged the meeting. Johnny was in San Francisco um, on tour and I arranged to borrow a friend's house and Amber and I flew to San Francisco and drove to the house and Johnny showed up a few hours later. And did the two of them meet? Yes. In the same room? They sat outside. Okay. Uh, how close to each other were they? Inches away from each other. And how long uh, were they out there talking? Or how long were they out there talking? Several hours. Did you, although you weren't out there, did you... Were you in a position where you could see them through a window or otherwise? Yes. <clears throat> At some point in time, the conversation ended, correct? Correct. And what happened after that? I received a call or a text from uh, Steve, whose house it was, and he notified me that he would be coming back to the house within the next hour or so. And I told Johnny and Amber, and we decided to rent a hotel room in San Francisco so that they could continue to talk. And did that in fact happen? Objection. And at some point in time, you left that house, correct, to go to San Francisco? Yes. And was it the three of you? No. Johnny had security with him and we talked about the fact that they it, it wouldn't be a good idea for them to be seen together. So Johnny left with his security in his car and I believe Amber and I took an Uber. And what happened after that? We all met at the hotel room. And do you know what happened after that? Um, they started arguing. And do you recall any details of the argument? No. Uh, and for how long were you, was this argument had in a, in a hotel room? Yes. Did you witness the entire discussion or did you leave at some point? I left the next morning at five o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning. 
Do you know whether or not Ms. Hurd ever had a relationship with Mr. Elon Musk? Yes. She did? Yes. So again, it's dated August of 2017. And she says, dealing with breakup, I hate when things go public. See, I'm so sad. Having reviewed the document again, do you have an understanding of what she's referencing there? I believe she's referring to breaking up with Elon. You say it seems like a press release. You weren't in love with him, and you told me a thousand times you were just filling space. What are you saying there? I'm saying, why would you be sad if you weren't in love with him to begin with? 